there. This is Chisinau in Moldova. This is the Kufli Monastery. I'm sure that I'm saying that one wrong, but it is a uh, Moldovan Orthodox monastery built in 1858. And so I am not entirely uh, sure if the country is pronounced Moldova or Moldova. I've heard it pronounced both ways on the Wikipedia page. Then the little like audio thing pronounces it Moldova. And when I was on the uh, plane flying here yesterday, just arrived yesterday afternoon, my first uh, full day here, second day, first full day here in Moldova. And the airline stewardess on the plane, when she was announcing that we were landing, or when we had landed, I guess, she was uh, giving the, you know, welcome to Moldova speech. And when she was talking in Moldovan, I guess it was, or else maybe Russian uh, on the uh, flight, then she pronounced it Moldova. And then when she was giving the announcement in English, she pronounced it Moldova. And so I guess it can go both ways. And so I have a apartment about a block that way that I booked on booking.com for $40 a night. I showed the uh, room. Okay. I had uh, seen that guy earlier. I came up this, uh, I came through this underpass right here before and it is really kind of freaky. I showed it in the uh, video from yesterday when I arrived and there's all kinds of graffiti and it's all kind of uh, broken up the uh, stone and everything. But the freaky part is that it gets so dark in there, you can't see. There aren't lights in a lot of the uh, underpasses. There were, last night I was walking around here and there was a uh, light on in the underpass up ahead, which I'm going to go through. I'm just going to walk around. You can see it's evening. Maybe 7.30 or so. I ate at that restaurant over there. 24 cafe. Really good food, great prices. There was dancing and music going on. All right, I'm kind of getting a little uh, lost with all the different things I'm trying to explain all at once here. So what was I saying before? Now I forget, but uh, so I'm going to walk this way. I got dropped off by the minivan that I caught from the airport into the city here yesterday afternoon. And so let's see, should we uh, stay on this side or get on the other side? I guess I'll go for the other side of the street there. And so the uh, other underpass, it is so long and no lighting. And this one's fine. Also, they're uh, newly painting it. But the other one is so long, it gets fully dark in there. And you're like scooching along like this like not sure if there might be a hole in the you know, brick or whatever, and you cannot see your feet, the ground at all. You can barely even see light at the end of the tunnel. And so uh, Moldova here is in a pretty uh, rough state economically and as far as the infrastructure, but it is also a very unique place and a different, uh, sort of country to experience, Air Moldova. That is how I flew here yesterday from Nice, France for $230. It was a great flight. There was a uh, sandwich for lunch included. They didn't charge for luggage, glass of wine, no charge for that. And so if you saw my video from uh, yesterday, you will recognize I walked along here. And so uh, I thought that I would just share a few of the random things that I've learned about Moldova so far and also the process of getting here, which was incredibly easy. As a American citizen, then I didn't need a visa. You can just arrive at the airport, 
and there was no form to fill out. You just uh, show them your passport, no questions. They just let me in. I'm not sure how long you can stay actually, but I'm only here for five days. Because I am flying somewhere else, another trip that I had already planned, that I had to work around, and so I just kind of squeezed in this Moldova trip while I had the chance, because I wanted to come here. Especially since seeing Bald and Bankrupt's videos, I'd actually wanted to go even before that, because I've been to many countries in Eastern Europe. Bulgaria, Romania, Slovakia, all three of the Baltic countries, Kiev, Ukraine, Minsk, Belarus, and I hadn't been to Moldova yet, and so I had wanted to come, and then I saw Bald and Bankrupt's videos and was like, yeah, that looks cool. And I was also just ready to get out of the tourist zone. I've been traveling for about six weeks now on this trip. Oh. Uh, do you speak English? Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure that they were saying, don't film. Speaking of bald and bankrupt, he encountered that as well. Some guys saying, uh, why do you have the right to film here? And I have the right to film here. From what I read online, then you aren't allowed to film in airports, at uh, military bases, don't film the police, you know, official kind of stuff like that. But there is no law about not filming in Moldova on the streets of the capital city. All right, we got a little uh, race going on. Go-karts. And so, so far on this trip, my travels have uh, taken me to Mallorca, Spain, island in the Mediterranean Sea that is part of Spain, Menorca, another island right next to Mallorca, and then Barcelona, or Barcelona, in Spain of course, just for a couple of days, and then to Andorra, the tiny country of Andorra in the Pyrenees Mountains between Spain and France. and then to Toulouse, France, and then caught a flight from there. So this is like the uh, minivan that I took from the airport. All right, let's uh, try to get across the street in Chisinau, also called Kishinev, the uh, Russian name for it. Not too bad. He's actually stopping, so thank you. And so from uh, Toulouse, France, I flew to Malta, the island country of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. And let's see, which uh, way to go here? I think I'll probably keep going the other way. And from uh, Malta, after eight days in Malta, I flew to Perugia, Italy. Found a super cheap flight on Ryanair for $60, including luggage and everything, to Perugia, Italy. And then traveled up through Italy to Florence, Pisa, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. and then to Genova, Italy, on the Italian Riviera, on the Mediterranean, all by train, traveling by train, and then traveled to Cannes, France, home of the Cannes Film Festival. I actually stayed in Grasse, outside of uh, Cannes, for the first four nights, and then, sorry, no. 
bigger there. And she spoke some English. I will uh, give money to beggars sometimes, but I'm certainly not going to uh, stop my filming. And more often than not, I don't. I don't want to pull out my cash. You know, if it's convenient, I have some coins in my pockets or whatever, then I might, but uh, anyways, uh, so I was visiting a friend in Cannes, a friend who lives there and works there from Canada. And then I booked this flight from Nice to Moldova here on Air Moldova last week and flew here yesterday. So those were mostly kind of touristy places. And so I am stoked to be somewhere very different. I have not seen anyone so far in the uh, 24 hours or so that I've been here. Anyone so far that appeared obviously as a tourist. Walking around the city yesterday and now today. Maybe there are some tourists from neighboring countries or whatever. I'm sure that, you know, most of the uh, visitors here to Moldova are probably people who are visiting family or on business. So Moldova is the least touristy country in Europe. And so I don't know where I'm going here. I'm just cruising around. I haven't done any planning yet as far as what sights to see in the city and outside of Chisinau. I will be making other videos that will be, you know, more informative and, and show uh, some of the other aspects of the country and uh, tourist sites and stuff like that because there is some cool stuff to see here for sure. I think I might be making kind of a loop going back to my uh, hotel area if my navigational senses are accurate. And so I'll definitely have to uh, find whatever the center of town is. I'll definitely be showing more of the city here in uh, upcoming videos. But I just wanted to do one of my walking around kind of first impressions, getting a lay of the land. Okay, we got some uh, like street food over there. And I'll admit, I'm a little, uh, a little nervous about the filming. As you saw, those two guys objected. And I think there is just going to be kind of a uh, lack of tolerance for walking around filming. We'll see, but uh, just kind of trying to be careful and not point my camera at people, you know, too obviously. Because this is not Amsterdam or Paris or London or Rome. This country is really kind of a forgotten corner of Europe. I wonder what the deal is here, if this is a, uh, no, I don't think it's like a shanty, like <laughs> encampment. I think it's just little, little shops, tent shops, I guess, that are closed right now. Very Soviet era looking buses there. All right, I'm curious to see if I uh, get to this street corner up ahead and recognize where I am. And 
And as far as English being spoken here, then it is becoming more common. Apparently it is taught in the uh, schools now, and so the younger people will likely speak English. I had a little bit of a issue yesterday when I arrived at my apartment, the address that they had given me in the email on uh, booking.com, and there was no office, there was nobody there that could check me in. I guess they just assume that you are going to uh, call the uh, number in that email, but my phone wasn't working. Now it is working, but for some reason it wasn't working when I first arrived. And so I do have a reception here with my T-Mobile plan. So I get to the apartment and I have no way to contact the uh, people. I can't send an email or call them or anything. And so I asked a random guy standing around there if he spoke English and he spoke great English. His phone was actually um, out of minutes. And so he couldn't call for me, but he went and found another guy. Meat House. So some prices. I'm getting so distracted with uh, different things going on here. So the currency here is the Moldovan lei, and there are 19 lei and one US dollar. So just call it 20. One dollar for a hot dog. One dollar for like a steak, I guess? A hundred grams, like a little steak, I guess? Sausages, one dollar. I'm not sure if uh, they're cooking them up for you or if you're just buying... Ah, okay, it's just uh, it's just buying the, the meat. And uh, so I uh, asked that guy if he could call the people that uh, manage the property. And he went and found somebody else that had a working cell phone. And they called for me and talked to the person and then they uh, came over and it was uh, another younger guy who also spoke good English. So very likely the older people won't speak English. However, at the restaurant that I went to last night, 24 Cafe or Cafe 24, then uh, the owner there spoke English. So it is uh, fairly commonly spoken. All right, yes, I am full circle. I showed this place in my video last night. And so uh, I am almost back to the area of my apartment. I'm not sure yet if uh, I'm on this block or a block over. See, there's lights on down there. There's uh, also little shops. Yes, I think, uh, I think this is my apartment is other side of that big building there. Yandex Taxi, that is the uh, taxi to use. You can get an app and then it's kind of like, not like Uber, it's still taxis, but uh, you can call the taxi that way. All right, there you go. A little uh, exploring tour of one big square block, basically, of Kishinau. So, more coming from Moldova.